my life so difficult, such difficulty and why do I have to go in through this? And, uh, what am I going to do through these next days and weeks and perhaps months? Good for us to remember that when our lives, when we allow God to be part of every bit of our lives and our lives are founded then on God's attitude of loving kindness toward our own humanity, we are most aware then of God being constantly in our experience and God is constantly in everyone else's experience. And so God is calling us to be truly holy and wonderfully kind toward ourselves and toward one another. Amen. So let us continue with the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven yes. and is seated at the right hand of God. Right. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Bring us the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O Lord, Make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name. For you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all the souls of enemies that we surely trusting in your defense. Do not fear the power of adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you. We pray that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. The prayers of the people are form six on page 392. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all, for all who, work who work for justice, justice freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Brian, our bishop, and for all bishops and other ministers. for all who serve God in his church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. For all fathers and fathers to others. Hear us, Lord your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. For Veronica, for Amanda, for Food, for Kate. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For Gail, for Terry. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. In this time and in this space, you are invited to share the prayers and concerns of your heart, either silently or aloud. Praise God, we continue to pray for our community and for our country, that we may find peace, we may find respect and dignity for all people and, love, and learn to live in love and unity as you have wanted for us to do. Almighty, eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercy accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's pray for those who Celebrating birthdays this week. I join you if you wish with the prayer on page 130, although probably most of you know it by heart now. So we are celebrating birthdays for Jude Morrissey, Ed Brading, Marty Cleveland, Charlena Ward, John Nash, Bob Barnwell, Evelyn Hike, and Barbara Lapp. Watch over thy children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. 
raise them up if they fall, and in their hearts, may thy peace which passeth understanding abide all the days of their lives. Christ our Lord. Amen. May God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you, and may he give you his holy angels charge over you, charge you and guide you in all of your ways. Amen. We also celebrate the anniversary of Jill Channing and Allison. And I will get to that prayer in just a moment. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon these your servants, that they may continue to so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Continuing with the second general thanksgiving. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise that for all you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing family and friends, for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our depend on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his past obedience, which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit, that we may know him and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places, may give thanks to you in all things. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your word of Son and you are together in him. You will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be better for us. And us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come with everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God of hope fill with joy and peace be the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And before the Final blessing and dismissal. Uh, just a couple of announcements. I invite you to join us for coffee hour. When Gross Road and Emily Bidgood have a, a little small program, nothing, nothing huge. It's not going to tax our brains a whole lot. It'll just give us a chance to have some good conversation. I certainly hope you'll join us. Also, I uh, remind you that the National Cathedral service begins at 1115, and Francis Jackson is returning on Wednesday night for a series that I know you will find most helpful. Nick will continue to send everything out, as he has been doing. Um, just keep your eyes. The numbers may be chained forward. Um, 
but eventually I think we'll have a rhythm so that you'll know what number goes for what Zoom call. Many blessings to each and every one of you and the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and your mind the knowledge and the bounty of the Son, you guys are the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the and remain with you always. And if Kathy will dismiss us with a couple of alleluias, that would be wonderful. Go in peace to love and serve God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hope to see you all at coffee hour.